Thanks, mate. Driver out, Robbie. Got you, brav. There you are. All right, hop in. Good to see ya. Close the door and we'll teach you all we know, eh? Now, on the mainland here, you got your AA and your tow trucks, which is all well and good. But it makes you lazy. Makes you lazy. Now, being an island mechanic, that makes you crafty, doesn't it, Georgie? Yeah, and that's why you need a Torrance's car kit. A Torrance's car kit. Essential items for island mechanics, we call it. All right, mate, first stop. On St Kilda, there's no petrol station. Can't just rock up to the BP for a saucy roll. It's whatever you got in your garage, innit? And if you're caught out... Good luck. Enjoy hiking in the rain. One time, Robbie ended up swimming. She's pretty cold. In December. Oh, I wasn't watching the tides. Never again. So, your first item. Jerry can, and more importantly, a hose. You never know when you're going to need a pinch of top-up. Oh, don't be like that. We never take a full tank. Share and share alike, eh? Right, so, it goes into the tank and suck to begin the transfer. <coughs> Try not to swallow any. Uh, emergency plan B? Yep, item two in your Torrance car kit, a coat hanger. It's got to be an old wire twisty one. Plastic or wood is no good, even if it keeps your shirts pressed. All right, bend it into a J shape, yeah, a little flatten at the bottom. Perfect, now slide in between the window and the door. Nah, I've been doing it since I was four. You can do it. There's a pin, pull it up. Yeah, you're doing great, mate. Your first break-in, adorable. So you want a tourist car, ideally, covered in flags and stickers with a foreign plate, but something that says, oh, I'm outdoorsy. Yikes. Oh, you can tell by the smell. What is that? I want to say patchouli and hiking boots. I hate that you can do that. Now, in a really sticky situation, find a hiker and grab the camping stove. The fuel in that will get you to the next place. Got one. Good spot. On we go. Now, it's not just about maintenance. It's about what to do when you hit trouble. It's not that we mind a bit of trouble. Now, most mechanics will tell you to have jumper cables, but that's boring. Dull and utterly useless. Why would you recharge a battery when you could just grab one that's already charged? Nah, don't worry. We'll do swapsies. It'll just be like Indigo and Kaleg. Kaylee? Is that, is that Kaylee? Ugh, for the love of Dubrack, it'll just be like they ran the radio a touch too long. Oof. Bad car care here. See how the battery looks all fuzzy? Corrosion. Canny, your favourite non-sponsored soft drink will get that right off. I got it. Obviously, every mechanic needs a spanner. Yeah, no, it's needs a clean. But, no, nah, it's bolognese sauce. Bad dinner party at Angelique's. He doesn't like to talk about it. How was I to know fix my pipes was some kind of euphemism? Right, swap ya. Everyone knows that? Disgusting. And a brand new clean battery for the van. While you put that in, let me give you another tip. See these? Spark plugs. That's what you need if the engine starts knocking. If the boot starts knocking, you can use a spanner again, eh? <laughs> Just a little island humour. We'd never use a spanner for that. A good blanket does it quieter and cleaner. But if you were in a bind and needed to get in and out quick, one of these bad boys will smash through a window in a minute. Show them, Robbie. OK. Come on, mate. Huh? Together. <gasps> Don't be a drama queen. Now, the next item is the blanket. Well, just some rags if you have them. Here you go. I wasn't kidding about having a blanket. You're doing great. Don't panic. Just pop that over the edge so you don't cut yourself, and you can reach the inside handle and pop it open. There, see? Easy. Hey, hey. Don't cry. You didn't cut yourself, did you? Breathe, mate. Breathe. What do you need a phone for? There's no need to call the fuzz, mate. It's just a window. I thought you wanted to become an island mechanic. You said you wanted to know everything. This is emergency repair, mate. Nothing personal. Wow, looks like somebody wants in-house experience. Now get the shovel. Now a good shovel is an important kit item. Gets you out of mud, snow, and every once in a while, another jam. Okay, in we go. <clears throat> <sighs> 
Excuse me. Right, the final kit piece. Touch either side to the relay on the starter motor. Purple to the red wire. She'll be running in just a minute. Now bring that knife back when you're done, eh? Yeah, sorry mate, but I'm not sure you're cut out to be a St. Kilda mechanic. If you'd been paying attention, you'd have kept the spark plug. She's back. Let's go, bruv. Perfect. Now, let's turn off that dictaphone, eh, mate? We, uh, we don't need to record the next bit. <laughs> <laughs>